LTV, get him away from the boat. First bait in the water? Yep. Second. Second. <laughs> yeah. Coming down, coming down. Oh, First one right there. <laughs> Got him. Nice work. Nice one. <laughs> mm-hmm, right here, getting bit. There you go! Yeah! Yeah, good job. <laughs> a lot of bend out here. Yeah, there it is, the Slayers. That was a good size Dorado, too. Right, here we go trying to pick out pick out some lures to go with on this trip here we're gonna go with the taddy in case there's a nighttime thing going on we shall see about that and then the center to troll with i'm gonna bring nomad and my mad mac next up we'll bring some poppers i'll bring the ridiculous nomad chug norris and one of these little good luck ones. We'll go with the orange. Then we'll bring these stick baits. These are doing the ticket, the trick right now. Shimano, Daiwa. And then we're going to bring in this OG Master right here. We'll give that a shot. Can't forget the surface irons. We're going to bring the killer jigs and the tatties. Got the mint, the scrambled egg. Wounded Soldier, blue and white. Then we got the little Colt Sniper style. SK jigs, we got the other Colt Snipers. We'll put those in here as well. Colt Sniper right here. Some spoons. Man, we're getting it all. Loading it up. And then I got my floral carbon, different leaders and my mono line. This set of pliers and cutters. And I got my terminal tackle here, some hooks, clips, miscellaneous. Good to go. Let's do it. Going back offshore. Producer will probably gonna be here. Somewhere down in this area. Looking for kelp patties, kelp patty fishing. Lots of yellowtail, dorado, yellowfin, bluefin. They were all in the counts today. Get the variety pack going. So it's a quiet night here in Point Loma. It should be a loud and busy afternoon with all the hookups tomorrow morning and afternoon. Down in Mexico at the kelp patties. We shall see, I've been reading the reports. Mustang Sports Fishing, Sea Adventure 80. All the boats are getting limits of yellowtail right now with a couple Dorado mixed in. And the Dorado are a good size too, 20, 30 pounders. Such beautiful color on those fish. So hopefully we get to the, some of the exotics, the variety pack and still be able to pick off some big bluefin. That's why I got the spinning set up to play around with. In addition to the Avid, the bigger, set up and then we're also going to be using the Seagate. Where are we at? Producer. Night Rider now. Let's do it. 813. Supposedly producer's at the fuel dock right now getting fuel. Check out the reels inside the landing here. H&M. Check out some of the Avid thinking about getting the Star Drag. No, I mean where the yellow are the wire. Yeah. Oh, it's a little bit. 300, 300, 240, 260. Yep. What's up, boss? How you doing? All right, man. You going on producer? Yes, sir. The Let's line. Let's right do here. it. Right <laughs> yes, we are. They're unloading some yellowtail yeah, right now. Yeah, yellow. They got limits. Yeah, here. I didn't send you that. Okay? 
Like 10 to 12 pounders, huh? Yeah. Pretty decent size. They got limits. They got limits. And then on the surface irons too? Uh, they're all on bait. Oh. Is it okay? I do movies. Hey, is it okay to throw you in my movie? Yeah. Are you on Instagram? Uh, yeah, on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. So if you were to go between uh, uh, accurate turn, uh, Avid MXL uh, Star, that MX Star Drag, or a uh, Pen Fathom 25 Star Drag, which one would you go with? I like the Avid, but. The reason why I fish with that Avid because it's true speed, but normally I fish with Shimano. I got my Avid right there. That's been doing work for me uh, this year. I got I got three bluefin on it this year. Yeah. How big? I got my uh, first one was 60, and then I got 110, and then I got a uh, the last one was a, a 66 pounder on the iron in La Jolla. And that was the throw in that one with that 60 pound. Uh, oh, yeah, the Raptor. I have a yeah. Raptor. Yeah, no, the drag is nice, but go throwing uh, iron against two gears. I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, I want yeah, a single yeah. gear, but then throwing into those mixed gray bluefin, you never know what's going to happen. So that, wait, I can't wait, wait. decide. You ain't on that guy. It's on that little solo skip. skip. That's me. <laughs> With the little 50 or 25 motor? No, it's a six horsepower motor. Dude, I just saw skip. you on YouTube. Yeah. You yeah. went out 13 miles. Yep. Yeah. yeah, 13 miles. Dude, 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 I just yeah. saw you last yeah. night. Yeah. What was your name? Mikey. Yeah, I just saw you. You're like, dude, I got no live bait. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then you come in as a two hour yeah. drive <laughs> with no fish. I just saw that's you. How, yeah, that's how it goes. So then the day after, I got my uh, uh, bluefin in La Jolla. He came up in the hill. 15 foot skip, oh, yeah. 13 miles out yeah. trying to get bluefin. Yeah. Oh. I was just tell him, I said, I was watching you last night, yeah. dude. Yeah, he's a f animal. I love him. Dude. I saw the guy on the main TV. This is the reason. Welcome aboard the producer. First off, I'd like to introduce myself and the crew. My name's Frank, I'll be your captain. I'll be operating the boat, fishing the boat during the daytime. Well, we're going to be starting with our morning crews and be putting out some trolling gear during gray light. First thing in the morning, we're going to put these things out. It's our job as a crew to put out these trolling gear. You don't have to worry about putting them out, you know, just let us put them out. Uh, we do not put them out tomorrow, probably for a reason. Here, we're not going to be assigning numbers. It's just going to be going to be an open troll, first come, first serve. If you guys see these things, if you guys are watching them tomorrow, you're going to be waiting for the clicker to go off, either that or you're watching them for the, then the shoot up against the rail. You see either of those two sides, you guys are going to yell hook up as loud as possible. This is a loud boat, captain needs to hear you, crew needs to hear you, so we throw some bait. Alright, you're going to yell hook up, unclick that rod from the rail, put the butt of the rod in your hip, rod tip, point towards the sky, and just start cranking on that fish. You know, this is heavy drag, heavy line, that's all you guys gotta do. Pretty much all the fish that we've been catching the last few weeks have been on fly line baits, fishing 30 pound fluorocarbon with a smaller hook. So what it's all about right now, finding a nice lively bait that wants to swim away from the boat. Can't stress it enough, when we're drift fishing like this, with live sardines, it's all about bait selection. Find that good bait, hard to catch and just growl into a quarter and lift up. Gently hold on to these baits. You guys don't want to be squeezing it and manhandling these baits. These things are small. You gotta be gentle with them. Quickly gently hold on to your bait right in front of the eyes and go to the clear spot through the nose. You're gonna look at sideways through the nose, right in front of the eyes. Instantly let go and hold it by the line. Find a nice spot on the side of the boat where no one is far, you know? want to go where there's already 20 people in that corner. Just be nice and spread out because that's how you guys are going to catch more fish. If you guys follow your lines and you guys spread out along this boat. You know, the bow on this boat is a really good place to fish. That's where all our chum ends up when we're up here throwing bait. It all goes to the bow because this boat trips backwards. So that's why we always got to move our feet, you know, also. Always move our feet up towards bow because that's where our bait are going to go. We want to stay on the tangles and make sure you guys can follow your line. Of course, with the side of the boat, with your face, find a nice gap in our rail. Drop that thing in. That's all you guys got to do. Get on up. 
wrong color. Uh, do not yell gas until that fish is between five and eight feet away from the surface. Just be patient with us. Keep that fish's head nice and flat in the water. The horizontal, you know, the flatter you guys keep that thing in the water, the faster it, that crewmember is going to gap that fish and throw it on the deck. When you guys are pulling that thing's head out of the water, it's impossible for a crewmember to gap a vertical fish with its head out of water. It's super hard. It's not going to work out. And when you guys are pulling this fish, I mean that fish's head out of water, it's more likely to shake that hook. So just keep that thing nice and flat in the water. Crewmember is going to come gap it and throw it on the deck. Like here in the pill box. Do not leave that fish.
started taking it. Here, getting bit. <clears throat> no, damn, in the help. Hold it too hard. <laughs> Crank that one too hard, <laughs> giving it no drag. It just popped it off. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I got it right on that kelp and it just got bit immediately. Was that, was that boil you? Uh huh. All right, here we go. 6.51 a.m. We stopped on one kelp so far. Got a couple fish. We're gonna keep grinding it out. I missed my first bite. I got bit, took it. I had the drag too tight, lost the fish. Got some of the other fleet out here. Birds work in this area. Keep on yellowtail fishing these patties. Spread out though, make sure you follow your line. Go a little bit of bait. Hook up on the troll. Up on the left side. What you got? <laughs> the boner. 
Hold on, stop winding, stop winding. There you go! What? What is going on here? I don't... Oh, 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 Fish. You take that. Yeah, good job. <laughs> Got a lot of bando here. Top of me. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> getting it. Coming down. Coming down under this one, over that one. And it's off. Nice one. Nice Dorado too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, making the adjustments. I got my light circle hook now. I was using a J hook. I lost two fish. So hopefully I can stick it and get get the skunk off. Here we go. I'm gonna go with the spinner setup still. I got 30 pound fluoro, 80 pound braid, size two ringed, or a size two circle hook, light, Muchu circle. Make it happen. I'm gonna be one of the last stops here. Make it go, 
Get a shot of you with yeah, it. Please, that big one was on the uh, iron down there. I'm not Man, sure. there's some bigger grade. Uh, yeah, buddy. 13 pounds is your biggest. Oh, I got four. Hey, I got four, I guess. Yeah, there it is, the Slayers. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Making it happen. Yeah. Awesome. Love it with the dodo in the mouth. Yeah. Where's your 16 pounder at? Yeah, nice chunky one. 16 pounder. That was a good size Dorado, too. Yeah. Adam, my last stop, last fish. Making it happen. Every pound of meat matters. That dodo life. That's a cool, cool little camera. It's a 4K. Marlin just going to town. Yeah. <laughs> wow! Come closer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was sick. Oh, a dolphin. I was like, oh, look at the dolphin. Is that a selfish or a marlin? 